I got to say, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but the movie is incredible. I just watched it last night. You guys have some really powerful monologues. And I was just like, these guys are amazing. And I'm trying to be just not spoilerish at all. So thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Uh, Kevin, I know we're over Zoom, but does this count as meeting you? Yes. Okay. That's all. I just needed to know how, what degree yes. I'm at. That's all. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't you're know. I'm... You're, you're whatever, one, zero. I'm not even sure what, how that works. <laughs> oh, but but perfect. I would think zero is you. So Okay, zero is me, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. so yeah. you're one. So, I, if, so if that would make me one, then that's good. My mom's going to be really happy to know that she's <laughs> next <to> now. <laughs> so I'm asking everybody on the cast this question, Carrie. So I'm really sorry to put you on the spot like this. Okay. But um, what's your favorite Kevin Bacon movie? Oh, oh man. no, that's a terrible thing to do. Let me pull up my IMDb page <laughs> so you can get the full list of what is it, a hundred something you can. I think probably Mystic River. Good one. Yeah. Ding ding ding. Great, great answer. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. fantastic. So I, I love that, uh, yeah. Kevin. Since you're here, I might as well ask you, what's your favorite? Carrie Preston movie <laughs> or Kevin Bacon movie or yeah, either or whichever one you want to answer. My favorite Carrie Preston movie was directed by Kira Sedgwick. Yes, I was going to say. And I was in it. Yes. And Kira Sedgwick directed it. And Carrie, actually, Carrie and I played husband and wife twice in a row. Two times right? in a row. Two oh, times. Wow. Two just, totally different We movies. just went from Rhode Island playing <laughs> husband and wife and just got on a plane and went down to Georgia and just yeah. kept the kept the game going. And somewhere, you know, <laughs> in that flight, we turned really bad. <laughs> when is it coming out? That's I right. want to know when it's coming out. Uh, I, I don't have a date yet, but soon. Yeah. Okay. Just, it okay. premiered at Tribeca, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kevin, do you, have a, do you have a favorite Kevin Bacon movie? No, I really don't. Come on, they're all, they're all, they're all. I don't know. I, I, yeah, no, it's not that they're all good. I, 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 I like to say that there's about about three of them are good. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm, I, I really don't have a favorite. You Fair know what? Enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah God. I was gonna say the mask is such an important part of slasher films, and the killer in this movie is no different. Out of all the slasher films that you guys have seen, which mask is the creepiest to you? Oh, wow. What do you think? Well, uh, she's not much of a slasher. Fan. Well, I know, but uh, Halloween, though, come on. I mean, it just yeah. terrifies me. Yeah, there's yeah. something about the, the black eyes. Just yeah. Creepy. Just, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's the one. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Myers. Uh -huh. um, so you both have this incredible body of work. Is there any one particular project from each of you that you feel is underrated and deserves a bigger audience? Hmm. That's a really good that's question. A good question. Um, I mean, I just went, came off of this show called Claws, and I feel like it, you know, it it made an impact, but I wanted it to make a way bigger impact. So if people haven't watched Claws, you can get it on Hulu. It's four seasons. It's excellent. It's fun. It's like exactly what you want. Divert, you know, you, it's fun diversion. It's hilarious. It's dark. It's sexy. It's, you know, it's it's like a little Florida noir. So I'm checking it out. Check it out. Uh, I have so many underrated films that it's really hard to choose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, I, you know, I'll tell you, since we're talking about horror, you know what movie I think is pretty underrated is a movie. Through called Echoes. Echoes. It, yeah. No. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, that's it. That movie. It's my favorite. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. But it came out right on the heels of The Sixth Sense. And because it was had a little kid in it who was kind of imagining things, it sort of got pushed to the side because everybody was like, well, it's just like The Sixth Sense. And The Sixth Sense was great, not to take anything away from it. I, I thought it was amazing. But I would say that one. Yeah, I Stir of Echoes is so good. I, I tell everybody that it's one of my favorite horror movies. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I, I really love the movie. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. John, congratulations. I saw the movie last night. I really loved it. Oh, um, thanks. It's so good to meet you. You've written some of my absolute favorite movies. So this is a real honor for me. I have such a soft spot for The Last Samurai, especially. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no. Um, so you've worked with so many legendary directors like Ridley Scott, Martin Scorsese, Tim Burton, the list goes on and on. So which director do you feel like you learned the most from in preparation for directing they slash them? I think I learned different things from each of them. You know, I think the way Marty Scorsese talks to actors is really, it's very intimate. And uh, I tried to m mimic that as much as I could. You know, directors like Ridley Scott and Tim Burton and Sam Mendes have an incredible visual sense of how to move through a world cinematically. So I like to think over my, my many years as a screenwriter, I, I sort of cherry picked bits of genius from each of those, uh, those directors. Awesome, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, how could you not? I mean, you're just 
around geniuses all the time. And, and, and there <laughs> so I say, gotta rub off, right? There I say a genius yourself. So yeah, I'm sure you picked up something along the way from everybody. So the mask is so important in a slasher film. How do you go about choosing a mask like for the killer? And what iconic mask do you think most influenced you? You know, it's, it's, first of all, you look at every mask that has ever been designed for every slasher movie since the beginning of slasher movies and think, find things you like, things you respond to, things you don't respond to. Uh, you know, I'm very fond of the Jason Voorhees hockey mask for all the obvious reasons, because that to me is the foundational text of slasher movies. But for our slasher, we wanted to do something more bespoke because we're in the woods. We wanted to feel very woodsy. And also our killer has really two sides to their personality. So the mask reflects one side that's sort of calm and one side that's very sort of angry and aggressive. Uh, and I worked really closely with Tony, Tony Gardner, our brilliant mask designer. And Tony just came up with some great studies for it. Awesome. Yeah, and I really love the design for the mask. I thought it looked super creepy. Also, I this I don't know if this is spoilerish or not. If it ends up being spoilerish, I can just cut it from the interview So, because I'm, I'm really trying to avoid uh, spoilers. But um, is there actually a name for the killer yet? Like, do you have a name for the killer? Because I've just been calling uh, them the killer. So uh, in the in the script, they are the killer, capital K-I-L-L-E-R. OK, so you are dead on right with your with your description. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, I tried to come up, come up with something cooler, like the forest phantom or something. But finally, killer was the winner. Killer. It just gets straight to the heart of it. it I, I, I respect it. Um, there's a reference to Friday the 13th. You brought that up. There's a reference in the movie. Uh, did you include that before or after you knew Kevin Bacon was attached to being? <laughs> <laughs> that was always in the script. I, I tried to tip my hat wherever I could. But obviously having having Kevin Bacon involved is like a dream come true because we are literally reaching back to the genesis of the forum. And it's it's thrilling to have him come back into this world. Uh, I can imagine. I, uh, by the way, I have to ask, I'm going to ask everybody. I have to ask you, what is your favorite Kevin Bacon movie? <laughs> well, you know, I you know, as a sort of musical theater fan, you know, Footloose is a film I watch and dance to around the house repeatedly. So I would have to say Footloose. Classic. Can't go wrong with that. That's a, that's a solid answer. Last question I got. Um, you've got this incredible body of work. Um, is there any one particular project that you feel is especially underrated and thinks you, you think maybe it deserved like a bigger audience? You know, it's hard to say. I've had I've had a great deal of success with with films I've worked on. Uh, I think the the movie I'm proudest of all the way around beyond they slash them is probably The Aviator, because that was that was a wonderful experience of of many many years of research and collaboration, working with Leonardo DiCaprio, Marty Scorsese. That's the one I sort of I hold closest to my heart in a way. That's awesome. Okay, well, uh, this was this was a pleasure talking to you. I don't want to take up your time. I know you got a lot of people to talk to. Thank you so much for taking the time, John. My pleasure. So I saw the movie last night and I really enjoyed it. I think it does such a great job subverting expectations. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, the mask is such an important part of a slasher film and the killer in this movie is no different. Out of all the slasher films that you've seen, what mask is the creepiest to you? Oh, shit. Oh, my. We should all say it on one, two, three. Okay. 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 One, two, three. The Silly the puppet. <laughs> Are you <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got, I'm gonna. I, I need you guys to now break it down one at a time because I didn't get any of that. I'm sure, sure, sure. Okay, who wants to go first? Scream go first. Scream is classic. That's yes, Puck. that's a great one. Um, Billy the puppet from Saw, I think, is pretty. I know that's like more of a puppet and like not a mask, but like it looks. No, like no I think that's a, that's a that's a solid answer. I don't know yeah. if anybody else is gonna say that. Very scary to me. Yeah. Yeah. The, the purge for me, because I feel like if the purge was actually happening and somebody showed up to my house with that mask, it would not be right. It would not be well. Take what you need. Uh, you know. Please don't kill me. Yeah. It's don't like giving me. the strangers like that type oh of mask. Oh my God, the strangers. Yes, that mask. Is just... That by goosebumps. That's also a really scary yeah. mask. Oh my God. Yeah. These are great answers. I, I thank you. This is, I was expecting everybody to just be like, Jason or Michael Myers, but you guys are really throwing out some left fielders. I appreciate that. Um, so actually going on that, I just talked to John and I asked John, like, is there a name for the killer in the movie? And I'm, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers, but he said that the name is just the killer, like all capital letters, like in the script is just the killer. And a lot of times these killers will take on names after the fact, right? They'll take you know, after the movie fans or people will kind of give them a name. So do you guys have any name suggestions for what the killer might be if there's a sequel down the line? 
<laughs> Heather. Heather. <laughs> I like this. Heather. Heather. Go with that. The mask's name is Heather. I love Heather. It. It is. Straight up, like you got to look at that mask de- in it's detail. Scary. It's, it's, it's scary. It's scary. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is a work oh, it is. of art. It is. Un- yeah. When I actually saw it, I was like, "This is amazing." Yeah. Yeah. yeah John kept it a secret for a long time. For so long. Yeah. I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah." It, yeah. It's super creepy. I could tell that a lot of thought went into it. Also, I got to say, it's so cool that you guys are all officially like one degree away from Kevin Bacon. That's the coolest thing ever. So so I just I have to ask, what's your favorite Kevin Bacon film? Mm. Well, I mean, I really liked Footloose when I was a little kid. So like that will always have a special place in my heart, honestly. I'm, I'll say it's not a film, but City on a Hill is the latest thing. Ooh, we, we so good. City on a Hill is so good. I gotta watch so City on good. Hill. <laughs> I love City on Hill. Yeah. yeah. I love City on Hill. Tremors is good too. I like Tremors a lot. I half joke because it actually feels real. I feel like as a trans activist, I've been like living footloose my whole life. <laughs> we can yeah. dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't go wrong with footloose. That's just a classic answer all the way around. And he's also, he's done some amazing horror films. Like I think his like horror resume is super underrated. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen Stir of Echoes, but so yes. good. Oh my that God. Such yes. a good horror movie. Um, really scary. So how many, this, this is, this is fun because for me, it took me, it took me like two or three uh, watches of the trailer before I got it. But how many times did you hear the title they slash them before the double entendre kicked in and you were like, Oh, shit, that's a clever title. I think I got it right away. I think for a second I was like, and then I was like, ah, yes. See, when I first cool. saw it, I thought I saw they, them. And I was like, okay, they, them. And then we have like a group chat. And <laughs> somebody was like, I think it's they slash them. After the full pronunciation of it, I said, oh, oh, this is tough. My favorite, this is hard. My favorite part was when it trended on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People Everybody like, got it this pretty is quickly. The smartest title yeah. that I've ever heard. Yeah, Very clever. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I watched the trailer the first time and I was like, oh, okay. And then when I saw that it was at a gay conversion camp, and then I, and then I, you know, and then I was like, they slash them, and it's a slasher, and I was like, holy crap, that might be one of the best titles I've ever heard. Like that was, it's such a clever title. It's such a, and, and I think they were going to call. What were they going to call it before they they decided on on they slash them? Was the camp basically? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Whistler Camp, yeah, this is way better. This is, they slash them so much better. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I really enjoyed the movie. Congratulations again. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. First things I want to start off with, the mask is such an important part of a slasher film. And the killer in this movie, no different. Out of all the slasher films that you guys have seen, what mask is the creepiest to you? Oh, um, Black Phone. Oh. The black phone just came out and they completely they reinvented horror masks, I feel like, for that movie. Like that yeah. the fact that the mask changes and the expression changes, that mask is terrifying. Totally I agree. talked to yeah. Ethan Hawk oh. about that movie just a couple of weeks ago, and he gave such a great answer about that mask and why it's important to the movie. But yeah, I agree with you. That's a that's a fantastic mask. I agree. What about you guys? <laughs> I agree. Sorry. I, I didn't mean for that dead silence to oh, go come, on. come in there. Um, I, 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 I go with the classic, I go Friday the 13th. I just That's like great. that mask is just so classic and, and summer camp. So just, why not not mention that one? I mean, I think the scream mask is a little goofy, but something about the simplicity of it just like rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> there is something <laughs> scary to the fact that it's yeah. goofy too. Yeah, it's, I don't yeah. know, something about, like if, some, if that mask pops up at me, I'd be like, oh, hell no, 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 no. I no. think Michael Myers works the same way, right? I think that it's like yeah. so simple it, that it's just yeah. white and then black yep. eyes and it's just- Less is more. Yeah. Exactly, more. all the time. Yeah, what about you? I'm going to go with Black Phone too, because that was the most recent- mask that i saw and i was terrified we're obsessed with that movie <laughs> we are we're really fair fun. i loved it black phone was was incredible shout out to scott derrickson because that that movie's awesome um i just talked to john a little bit ago and i asked him for like like he said in the script that the the name of the killer is just the killer like all capital letters he, he didn't really settle on a specific name sometimes the names of these killers that kind of come out after the fact. So do you guys have any guesses for maybe what the name of the killer would be if there are sequels down the line, like what people are going to start calling this killer? Oh, that's a good question. The Whistler. 
Oh, slasher. I love yeah. that. Slasher. Slasher. Um, Whistler and Slasher. I like both of those. Those are really good. That's yeah. a great question. Oh, thanks. Well, I appreciate that. I, I take it so seriously. That means a lot to me. Um, so I got to say, it's it's so cool that you guys are officially one degree away from Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Now, isn't it zero degrees? Or is that well, just a Bacon, bacon number I would, one? I would, I, would, I would think zero degrees is Kevin Bacon. Right. Oh, okay. oh he's got, got it. Got zero so we're like, we're so. Yeah. So I would, I would think if you've met him, you're one degree. I don't know how. It's kind of like, like what is like first base or second base or third base when you know everybody's got their own answers if so, he's touched if he's touched you you're one, one and a half or, or 0.5 okay. 0.75 the, depending yeah, how right. far he <laughs> <laughs> so i gotta ask what's your favorite kevin bacon film what's the uh you should have left i just watched that is that what it's called huh? don't ask you should have left i'm so sure that's the title I don't think it's, I've seen that one yet. I don't know. With, a man, with a, um, Amanda Seyfried and they're in the Oh, the horror movie. You should leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah. yeah. I, oh, yes. yeah. Yes. I know what you're yes. talking about. I know what you're talking so about. Yes, good. that was it's great. so crazy. And uh, he's phenomenal. Yeah, I love that yeah, movie. Yeah, my, my, my little boy watched this with me and uh, and he was just asking me, he was like, what's the one with Kevin Bacon in the house where it kind of like they get stuck? And I was like, I don't remember the name of it, but that was a good one because we were talking about this last night. Anyway, I'm left. sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Keep going. You're good. I like Sleepers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sleepers yeah. is fantastic. He's so one. creepy in that movie. Yeah, it's very, very creepy. I think that's the good thing of Kevin, you know, just like he's so unique and he brings so much identity for each role that he plays that we, we never see like Kevin Bacon there. We're always seeing the characters. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just like hard to pick one. Uh, but come on, we are doing they slash them and he's amazing in this movie. So, so oh wait, come on. He's really creepy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm old school Footloose, and I, I love a few oh. good men as well. Oh. I mean, his 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 resume though, like his range is insane. Yeah, yeah. Even just in this movie, watching him bounce from like like kindness to just pure menace was it, it was amazing to watch. It was incredible. That's the amazing thing about being on set with him too, because he's the most chill guy, so friendly and warm. And then you watch him go into a scene, and like as an actor, it's it's a masterclass. Yeah. It's so fun to watch. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I really appreciate it. And I love the movie. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.